Hey guys, Pam here with Craft How, and I have kind of a different tutorial for you today. It's not specifically crafting related, but it is meant to address something that we see all the time in the crafting groups, and that is how do I price my items? Now, a lot of times you'll see me post this picture here that walks you through calculating your time, your cost, and how to use those uh, basic figures there to give you the actual cost of your item and then use markup to figure out what your wholesale and retail prices would be. Um, but that can be a little bit confusing if you don't want to sit down and like write it out for every item. So what I did was I created a simple Excel sheet and I'm going to walk you through how to set it up for yourself because it's really, really easy guys. It takes like five minutes uh, and then you can just copy the sheet over and use it for all of your items. Now, just a little bit of a disclaimer, I am not a professional. This is just a basic formula to help you get a jumping off point for your, for your items and how you choose to price them. So I'm gonna take you over to my, I actually use Google Sheets because it's free. Uh, so I'm gonna take you over to this same sheet in Google Sheets and we'll walk through each of the columns. Okay, so here we are in Google Sheets and it's just, um, Basically, it's it's free if, as long as you have a Google account, and it works very much the same way as Excel does. There are a few slight differences, but nothing that would actually affect what we're doing here. So the way I have my column set up is I have a time section, I have a cost section, and then that all calculates into my pricing breakdown. So we'll start here on the left-hand side um, in how to figure out your time. And a lot of what we do is is very specific so some of the things that we do can be really generalized tasks things like delivering an item or uh, just talking to a client and so you get to set your hourly rate for whatever you think it is so I just chose like I mean something that really doesn't take a whole lot of like expertise or practice I just did kind of a generic base rate and then things that are a little bit more skilled like actually doing the design work um, and doing the application so that it looks right, you know. Um, I also included a column for my cut time because, you know, you're using wear and tear on your machine, you're using your electricity, um, you know, whatever it is that you're using, there's other things in here. This column, you can type whatever you want for any of your tasks. And then your hourly rate is just any column that's in yellow basically means that you would have to fill it in. You would have to type a total in here or a formula in here. And then any column in gray is something that's going to be calculated based off what you have in the yellow columns. So for example, task one, consult with the client. I have a base rate here. And so you want to calculate what your per minute rate would be. So per minute rate, let me see if I can zoom in for you guys here. There we go. Okay, so your per minute rate, you can see here, it's C4 divided by 60. So that means, so in this column here, you would type in equals, this is column, or this is cell C4, so C, and then one, two, three, four, my numbers are off the screen here. So this is column C4, and so what I'm doing with, when I write, equals C4 over 60, that means I want to divide whatever is in column or in cell C4 by 60. So you just type in equals C4 over 60 and that'll automatically do the math for you. So that tells you that it's 13 cents per minute. And then here I'm saying I talked to the client for five minutes and that spits out this number here. This number here is E4, right? So this total that we got here times the total minutes. So we have our hourly rate divided by 60 to get our per minute rate, and then how many minutes we spent doing it spits out this number in this column. And then once you have that filled out, this little square here, you can click that and drag it down and it'll copy that same formula down all of these cells even though the values are different the formulas are the same does that make sense guys if not leave me a comment below and I'll try to go back and do a more detailed video so 
unfortunately, there isn't a way for me to just expose my formulas, at least that I know of. Um, but it's basically equals C4 over 60. And if you have extra columns in here, yours is going to be different. So just make sure that this, this here is corresponding with whatever you put in this box. Okay, so you can copy that formula all the way down your page and have it duplicate as many times as you want because you may have other tasks in here that I haven't put in, um, or you can even change out whatever your tasks are. So just to give you another really quick example, um, let's say we want to change our hourly rate to five minutes, or our, our, yeah, five dollars an hour, sorry, in this column here. So then that formula updates because we've changed this, those both update as well. So I'm going to set that back to one. All right, and then in our next section here, let's zoom back out again. Okay, so figuring your cost. This is basically the same type of formulas as we just use. It's all add, subtract, and multiply. There's nothing crazy. You know, we're not doing any like pivot tables or anything crazy in Excel here. So this section is for materials. And same as before, you can have as many or as few materials as you need. So this is an example of putting some, like a vinyl decal on a glass and then packaging it so that it's fit for delivery to the customer. So here I have material one is my glass. My glass costs a dollar and I used one. So its total cost is one. So here, my formula, let's zoom back in again. There we go. Okay, so material one, glass one per item, one cost per item is one. Quantity used is one. Quantity is the percent of the total quantity used. In this case, it's just one, because it's one glass. So this column here is going to be my item cost times how many I used. So in this particular one, this column is actually a formula. So that's where this comes in here. The behind the scenes to calculate your quantity used for the next column, make it a fraction. So in this particular case, because it's just one, there's no fraction needed. So let's skip down to the next one. So vinyl, let's say I used a one inch by three inch piece of vinyl. I pay $2 per sheet. So what I'm gonna do is that's one inch by three inches, so that's three total inches. So what I did here was three inches out of 104, or 144. So if a, a sheet of vinyl is 12 inches by 12 inches, that's 144 inches total, and I used three out of those 144 inches. So then again, this column says that my item cost is $2 and I used three out of 144 inches, which is 0 0.02 or two cents. So that's where I get a four cent total cost. Same thing, let's go down to gift bag, for example. Gift bag comes in a pack of six and I pay $3 for six gift bags. So that means that I used one out of six gift bags. So that's 50 cents. See how that math works out? And same as before, you can take your uh, totals and, or your, you can take your formulas, and once you have your formulas right, you just take this box here and drag it down as far as you need. All right, so for the next section here, we have our total time and total cost, and that's where these numbers come in. So we go back a little bit further here. Let me move over. So this number here, and it's kind of hard to see the formula. Okay, so if you wanna add a whole section, in this case, I'm adding all of this column here. And so I have equals sum. So this is the math we're doing. This is the hardest part, <laughs> I promise, but it's still really easy. So when you add things together, it's the sum. So you do equals sum and then open parentheses and you do the top of your column and you do colon, so you want F4 through F21. 
So that's saying that if I had 21 different tasks, well, fewer than that really, because it doesn't go down that far, but 21 different tasks, then this box here with this sum is going to give me all of these numbers totaled together, okay? There we go. And so this box here is the same thing. This box here is all of my L column totaled together, right? This section here, okay? And then this section at the end here, let me move further over. So this number here, if you, sorry guys, this is hard to do on a smaller screen so that I'm trying to be conscious of making sure that you can still actually see everything. <laughs> All right, so this number here is A2 plus G2. So that is this total number here plus this total number here. So when we add these two together, we get 385. So that, this column here, or this, sorry, this cell here is automatically calculated because we already calculated these two numbers, okay? So A2 plus G2 here. And now for wholesale markup, the general rule, let me zoom in here and move over. Okay, so this number is the basic bare bones minimum of what this product costs us to make. It is our time plus our materials. It's $3.85. Now, wholesale markup. So basically, if you're going to sell something to a store to resell, you would charge wholesale usually. And wholesale is generally your cost times two. So 385, this column here, this cell here, is just this number, star two times two, right? So that would be your wholesale. Now retail can be anywhere between technically three times your cost all the way up to whatever the customer will pay. That's called perceived value. If somebody thinks that your cup is worth $27 and they'll pay you $27 for it, that's how much it's actually worth. So your retail markup, I just did up to five times cost because it's, this is one, this is two, three, four, five, right? So this is your one. This is one times two. This is one times three. See this? I know it's small. One times four, one times five. So this is, all of this is calculated based on the information that you put in back at the beginning of this sheet. And then you can always go in and copy this once you have it set up, copy it into a new page for every product you sell. And that's going to give you the price and it'll help you formulate all of that without doing any crazy thing and it's just a one-time setup and then you can use it over and over and over again all right guys i know that that was a lot to go through remember on youtube you can click on your settings box down at the bottom and you can slow the video down you can always go back and rewind and play through a section again if you have any questions, feel free to message me. I'm on Facebook, facebook.com slash craft how. And of course, you can leave a comment on this video, and I'd be more than happy to walk you guys through something more specific or in detail if you do have a question about that. I hope you have a great day. Happy crafting, and enjoy!